Welcome back to the channel guys, Darth Sloan here. One of the things lately that everyone has been requesting has been a guide to Quattro Colinas, Mississippi Acres, Verhanga Savannah, and Rancho as they have been reset, the populations have been reset on all four of those maps due to the last update, uh, the Modern Rifles pack. So one of the hot things to do right now is to actually go after that Ibex Grand Slam. So here we go. I really need to come back to this spot and check them out. Oh, right there. Look there. That See, that's why you look first. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't set up a grind on uh, which he could throw, I guess. And he did. We did get us a diamond. 102.2. Very nice. Very nice. So first Ibex down. We're here. Uh, as you can see. Our tent is really close here. This was my red deer setup. But as you can see. There are four great up string zones here. Uh, but right here, this this is probably the hottest spot to hunt on, right here. I killed my diamond right there. But that's the Greedos for you. But let's kind of look around, see what it looks like. As you can see, we've got some Greedos drinking right there. We would probably see some right here if it weren't for our tent being there. But you can see several over there. I didn't really hunt these. During my discovery just looking around the maps looking for zones I ended up finding a diamond Greedos the Greedos Ibex Go Diamond at 100.1 you really have to watch those level 4's because they will make diamond quite a bit the seat 191.6 southeastern Ibex 89.6 and Rhonda 107.6 Rhonda will probably be everyone's toughest unless you have an initial spawn. Drink zones that I have found. So here we go with another. There's another four, but not big enough to make down, but still a good one to shoot. So we've got them over there. They're a little alert. They know something's up. A couple of different ways that you can hunt this. You can spawn in here and try to hunt this, or you can spawn in here and then kind of creep down through here. Really what you could do is hunt from here, shoot a long range shot here, fast travel over here to pick them up, and then hunt these two zones as you pick them up is what I recommend. Let's go look. All right, as you can see, some red deer over there too. There's a nice big four. So there's one zone you can hunt. Then up here, I would probably have a tent here and shoot these. And then you could fast travel over here, pick them up. That's the Greedos. Now let's hop on to the Southeastern Spanish. And I only found three zones that they were drinking at. Oh, shoot. He's raising his head. He did. Guys, it 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 could be that we just killed a diamond uh Ibex. Yeah, diamond. But I don't see them. They could be hidden away up in the brush there, but we do have a zone there, or wolves could have scared them off, but that's where they're at. They're around that area for whatever reason. We're not seeing them. Uh, right here is another spot but that's a pretty good hike from that um but let's go to where i killed my diamond at and this is also where that zone is where i killed my great one red deer before the update the, nice to see that zone still there they're drinking here well there there you go there's the drink zone so red deer are drinking on that spot as well um and the spanish ibex are also drinking down there so You've got those. 
So if you were to shoot one of them, you could walk down here and you could pick them up and then just be ready to turn around. And like I did, I went down here and turned around. I'll just put a marker here. Once I got over here and picked up whatever I shot, I looked across and there was a level four Spanish Ibex that made diamond. What is going on here? We have another red deer zone. So very nice three red deer zones around this little lake here. All right, so they're here. And again, this is where I killed my diamond. Good spot there, those three lakes. They're probably at other lakes. I, I don't think I ever checked this lake. I think I was going to check that lake after this one, but I killed my dime here and I never went and checked. All right, let's hop back up now to Basit. Oh, five medium. Basit Ibex right there. Let's go time. And he did. Oh, he's going to float. Well, anybody got any funny stories to tell? <laughs> nope, we are not trolled. 199.3 brown hybrid medium. If you don't have a diamond potential, see that guy's not diamond potential. It's uh, 191, so that would be. But I would definitely snipe him from up here. Here we go. There's another four. So a couple more shooters there. And this tripod will let you just go ham on them if you want. So, and then here's another zone. Another decent four. Got some more fours there. They also drink here. A couple spots. There and there. And I've killed a diamond here, actually. So, you know, there's a big level three. Uh, And sometimes you'll get some right there. Sometimes I'll, I'll have to look there. And then down here is where I killed a five medium. Level three. So this is my favorite spot. A lot of, I didn't even know this spot existed. I killed three diamonds here. This is where I'd put my tent. As you see, I just put the tent there. And right through here, I've killed three diamonds. Now, I got a herd of females here, I think. Well, that says red deer, but usually a bunch of females right here on this side. But let's see what we've got. I have killed three diamonds. I mean, look at this. Here they come. <laughs> Crazy. Very, very nicely uh, populated area here. We've not even looked at. I have killed a diamond over there, but look here. This is this is another good spot right here. And yeah, there's usually full of males in this. All right, there's three spots. I used to have a zone over there. I blew it out and I think they moved to over here. Yeah, there they are. What I like about this spot, check this out. The seat drink on one side and Rhonda drink on the other. <laughs> the good little spot gets you a little two for action going on here. I messed that up. Let's hope I caught something right there. If I didn't catch vitals, and I didn't, we did. He was diamond. I messed him up. Want to until you get the perfect scenario. So, look here. What? No. What? No. What? We had two five mediums in that same herd, guys. I never even saw that one. I think I like that angle, guys. What about you all? <laughs> oh my goodness. We have 
we have been given a second chance. I feel good about that shot. What about you all? <laughs> Look at that. Well, I'll be 110.10. Look at that. Um, okay. Anywho. Ooh, that's a nice round. Look at this population here. I just go bananas. Nice rounder right there, too. I go bananas on them. Really, that one went up to 110. I would like to have shot him. I lost him in the... Okay, here's the receipt. I have killed a dime right here. I'm, I could be... Maybe they haven't come in yet. I don't know. Kind of tough to hunt this zone. So here's how I hunt it. Just kind of... Get over here. That's a nice one, too. Click on them here. That's a nice one. But yeah, you could take some long distance shots there and snipe them. Um, I also like this little setup here. There we go. Number three. Good shooters, nothing to write home about over there. That's a nice four. So I'd shoot them, pick pick them up, shoot them, and then I'd hop in his tripod and shoot them. Um, couple more spots left, and then I'll throw the map up because I have a zone over here. I would shoot them, then walk over here, and by the time I got over here, these would be visible again, and then I could pick them up. So. Let's see what we have. I probably already scared them off. But... That's, a, that's a, a good shooter, that level four. And level three right there. So then I would walk over there and I would see these that we don't see right now. They're invisible, but by the time I walk over there and look over here, they will be visible. Let's do that. You know, once you're outside of that aura, your tent. They're getting upset with it. They might be visible now. Let's see. Yep, they just now popped up. What do y'all think about the invisibility now, all the naysayers? <laughs> you just saw it happen. If people still want to say that the invisibility is not a thing, then there's just no help on it. Sure was a guy on Facebook just arguing up and down. That's not a thing. It don't, it don't matter. <laughs> okay. Favorite zone. Here's why. I killed three five mediums here. One trolled, one I messed up, and then he got one. So I come here and I spotted a five medium. As a matter of fact, we better... God, he's nice. And he's nice. Let's and he's, he's even nicer. Look at that. This is by far my favorite zone, for sure. Then I would come over here. See, I messed that five medium up. Shot him, messed him up. So I came over here, and I shot some of these. Okay? Got a tripod up there. And then I said, well, you know what? Because they're kind of like pronghorn. They'll, they'll scare, but they'll come back. So... I said, before I fast travel out of here, let's go back. And another five medium had spawned, uh, well, not spawned, but just there was a five medium that was there the whole time because he was nervous and I didn't realize it. The map is color coded. Whatever color I typed the word of the Ibex in, the circle corresponds to that. And the stars are where I killed diamonds. 